Hi, this is an overview of 3D doming. It is uh, the one component doming uh, require, requiring UV light uh, to cure the resin. Uh, this technology allows uh, for doming to be done within half an hour uh, and the labels or decals are ready for use within half an hour. Uh, typically, we start with the following. We design uh, labels. Um, we print them. And then we have two options of cutting. If we're going to be using a small, um, small amount of labels, we can print that on a smaller uh, printer and using a small plotter cutter as in this case the silhouette SD uh, this will easily cut out the designs that we need if we're doing a larger uh, amount of labels for instance this one we will print on a larger printer uh, and of course we will use a larger plotter to cut all of these uh, different shapes um, after, once we finish that, then we need to weed the uh, weed out the vinyl in this fashion. So now we're only left with the labels with an edge, uh, which on that label will be applying the resin. Um, I want to point out that it's not only labels that we can dome. Uh, a very popular item is uh, the name tag. Uh, these name tags can be of various sizes and colors. Uh, this is done through sublimation. We can have name tags that are engraved and domed. Here are some more samples of the <clears throat> uh, variety of decals that we can cut out. This one is already uh, domed. Here is another larger one that we use for our systems. Uh, in addition we can use name uh, name plates, um, different decals for manufacturers who uh, make pieces of equipment as in our case where we manufacture our UV exposure units, we decorate the unit with our logo. Um, so, uh, having said that, <clears throat> we can now go over to the process of doming. So we have weeded uh, the labels and we can either use a manual a dispensing bottle that will if let's say we're doing a small amount of labels we can simply use a small uh, bottle first before we start doming we need to check for level this is very important so our uh, labels are uh, even so there there's uh, the, the coating or the dome is even in all places so basically we check all four corners make sure that we are level now once we uh, once we check the level we can go ahead and dome let me just show you a simple way of doming a small label and now the resin will disperse and stop at the edges so now we can continue to the other labels. And again, by the time we finish with the other ones, the resin will neatly expand or pour to the edges and stop. Um, let's do this one here. Uh, 
and likewise that one will flow to the edges and stop. All right, so this is one way of doming using a doming bottle. <clears throat> Another is our dispensing unit. Let's say we want to do this very quickly or we have uh, hundreds of these uh, labels to do. We offer a dispenser and let me just show you a couple features. Uh, this is a, a manual and automatic dispenser. You can, uh, by using a, um, a barrel, the barrel is filled with our doming resin. Here we have our uh, switch for uh, the manual or automatic process. We can either use this switch or a foot pedal. Both of these switches are plugged into the back of the unit here. Uh, this is our compressed air that goes into the system. This barrel is attached to this end where basically the air comes out, shoots the proper amount of pressure <clears throat> so the resin can be applied uh, to our labels. And basically the way this works in the manual uh, fashion, we will use the switch to apply the amount of resin that we we need. And that's our manual process. Now we have an auto process. And basically you set the time here for dispensing the amount of resin in one, one shot. So here, depending on, I think this should be fine. We can just press the button and the right amount of resin will be dispensed. I can see that this is not enough, so we need to increase the time for these particular labels. Okay, so let's do this one again. We'll do this in the middle. And that may need just a little more. Okay. So once we establish the right amount of resin, then we can basically just go over each label and the right amount of resin will be dispensed. And as you can see, it will slowly pour to the edges and stop. Okay. Likewise, for the other labels, what we need to do is, again, set the time. And as you can see, the right amount of resin gets applied to each of these labels. As you can see, this is an automated process. It's much simpler because you don't have to squeeze a bottle. You simply bring the needle over the item, press the switch, and the right amount of resin gets dispensed. Um, the air pressure, we like to have that around uh, two bar, uh, and the PSI that that is regulated for our amount of pressure that we maintain in the system. Vacuum, if we're using uh, this liquid and we want a, a sort of a suck back function so the resin doesn't drip out of the needle, uh, every time we uh, press on the button, the suck back function brings the resin so it doesn't drip any further. Uh, it's a simple unit, however, it's a must if you're doing um, a, a, a long run of labels. So once we have applied the resin 
to all the labels. We want to check to see if there's any air bubbles. Sometimes we may get air bubbles. If there are, we simply just go over with a torch and the bubbles will just simply come out, rise to the top. Basically just swipe over the resin and that eliminates any air bubbles. Now we're ready to dome. So we bring our UV exposure unit over. We turn on the UV light. We set the switch for about 20 minutes. And once the 20 minutes is up, our labels are ready to be applied to our products. This concludes our doming, um, doming uh, exposition. If you have any questions, please forward them to us. Thank you.